All right, time to create a assembly file now. We have all our parts drawn down here, you can see. My puzzle project is the active puzzle, so now I'm gonna create a new assembly. By clicking on that, loads up. Uh, might take a little bit, so just click once. Next up, you'll see the place. There's kind of two sides of that, just on the top part of this right here, click that. Should default right into your folder, so you can kind of decide which puzzle piece you wanna start with. I'm gonna start with puzzle piece part one. I'm gonna hit open. You can kind of see that kind of coming in there. I can also come up here and you see this little home button. If I click that, that can also make me kind of look at things three dimensionally. So it doesn't matter where you place this, just left click it. And if you want, you can go ahead and place as many of these as you want to. Now, we only want one, so I'll just hit escape again in the upper left hand corner of my keyboard. And that'll cancel that out. Now, this is the first part. Now, if you've noticed, remember the pushing the middle wheel on the mouse will drag it zooming on the mouse will do that if you are on the wheel rotating that will do that if you get really far away and you can't find it just click the home button it'll zoom it back in all right so now you got that next thing I was like to do on the very first part that I put in I like to go in there and I like to right click on that part and get this menu right here come all the way down to the word grounded not like uh, you know you can't go out with your friends but grounded as in click on that and now what happens is I can't move this part it's it's well yeah I can I'm moving the screen right now but the part becomes grounded so all the other parts that go around this uh, it just becomes a nice focused area to work with okay so that's the first part uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and add in another part so I'm gonna go to place and this next part we'll just add this one on the corner open I know you guys can't see my sketch but to trust me click to place escape to cancel and now what I want to do is I want to bring this part around and, and kind of fit in this corner right here so I like to use this free rotate tool and click on that part you want to rotate and just kind of move it around a little bit help me visualize how it goes in there okay and then escape on the keyboard cancels any current command click on these little view cube areas right here if I'd like to Otherwise, I can click and drag the view cube. That's always nice, too. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to hit Constrain. It's going to put a relationship on here. Mate, flush, flush. So mate this surface to this corner surface. And now you can see I haven't made it, but it's kind of crooked, right? Um, so what I want to do now is click Apply. So that way, that I like it. It's looking good, but I need two more constraints. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and this. And you can see it kind of flips it up, you know, and it's like, that's not, that's not right. So there's two different solutions that you can choose from. And I always try both to make sure one maybe looks better. So let's try flush. Ah, yeah, that's the one I want. That's definitely what I want. So I'm going to click apply. I like that. Now, the only thing I have left right now, if I just X this out, you can see I can still move this in one more direction. So I need to put some more glue or constrain this surface from here on the inside of that. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag that out a little bit. Go back to my constraint tab. I'm going to select this face. Flick it around. Uh, I, can't, I still can't see it, can I? There we go. And there. If I put glue on those two surfaces, bam, I'm in the money. Back to home. Love it. Hit apply three constraints per piece you can see them listed over here in the design tree so that's great I love it looks great so I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this I'm gonna put another part in so you just got another idea of what I got going open place uh, kind of place this it's gonna go on this side so I'll kind of place it over there escape on the keyboard free rotate click and this bad boy is gonna kinda of go right in there according to my sketch so I'll hit escape on the keyboard, come over here to constraint. I'm going to put, uh, what do you think here? I think I'll put, I think I'll put this face with this face right here. Oh yeah, I like it. Looks good. Hit apply. Now remember I got to straighten these up. So I'm going to click that face. I'm going to click this face right here. But as you can see, this thing flipped around, we don't want that. So we're gonna go back over and we're gonna try a different one. Now I realize that looks like 
that's kind of inside of that part, but it does line up with everything. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And then I'll just X out of this thing real quick and allow this to kind of pull this. That way I can, you know, when I do this, I'm just left clicking on the part and dragging. Everything else is constrained except for this surface and this surface. You see that? I got to put some glue in there to hold that in place. So I'm going to back that out. Go back to my constraint tool. I click that face and where I want to put glue on it, right there. And boom, I'm in. Sweet. Hit apply. And now if you hit cancel, now when I click and I try to move these, they don't move. I click and I hold the mouse down, they don't move. So I can just continue on with this, keep adding, um, adding my parts in uh, as I go. And, you know, again, you're looking at your solution that you sketched out and it makes it a lot easier if you do that. That's why we spent that time doing that free rotate click that around like that kind of escape and you're gonna probably get some stuff you know when you start to do this you might get something um, when you when you start to go and it just looks crazy you know it just does not look how it's supposed to you know it's looking good for me right now but you might get something that's nuts like this and you don't like it this is good but maybe you didn't if that happens you just hit cancel okay what that does is it just moves it back. Don't hit accept unless you like it. Otherwise, you got to go back through and try to try to find out what you did wrong or hit the undo button to back yourself up a little bit, okay? But um, those are really the main things as you go. And you're just going to place the rest of your parts until you get them all fully constrained. Uh, and then you're going to yell at me. I'm going to come over and check it out and uh, see see what we got going on, all right? Uh, good luck. Cole Ross, please report to room 3 <laughs>